What's going on guys, Demogenic here. Today I'm going to teach you how to decrease your input lag in Fortnite Battle Royale in Creative and how to have a lot better free builds in 1v1 clips. So the first optional thing you can do is buy a LAN adapter which makes you have Ethernet so you have a lot better Wi-Fi and it's a lot more stable. And if you have decreased ping, that's the milliseconds that it takes for your actions to go to the server and for your character to do what you want to do. So if your ping's lower, your input delay will be as well. Next in your settings, you want to go all the way down to TV output. You want to put the TV resolution to 1080p, the RGB range to full range of it to PC monitor, or limited range of it to TV. Or if you don't know, just use automatic, but sometimes it doesn't work. You want to adjust the screen size, I put it to 100% because I can. So basically, the arrows should be at the corners of your TV. Now for even more optional things, what you can do is put your TV on game mode. So like most TVs or monitors that come after 2010 have that game mode. It's basically, it makes your game the most capable of not having any input delay and being the smoothest possible. It should be somewhere in your settings, I don't know exactly where they are because of the number of TVs and monitors that exist. You should be able to find it easily though if you like type on Google the name of your TV or monitor and it'll say in the information to the product if it has that game mode or not. Also what you can do is when you have a controller and you're not sure if it's wired or wireless they'll have the least input delay, it'll always be wireless now with Bluetooth. Next thing you want to do is in your settings. First of all you want to have a brightness above 100. Well, I just put it on 125 because since you can put it between 100 and 150, I just put it in the middle. Uh, you don't want to have any colorblind modes because since season 3, colorblind modes have been very bad. Unless you're actually colorblind. The safe zone, this is basically your HUD. Uh, just put it wherever you want it to look good, like where you can look down at the corners. I don't recommend putting it like at the very extremities so you don't twist your neck looking at the corners of your TV. Uh, you don't want to show FPS because that's just some extra hard stuff so it'll just add more lag and never put power saving mode because I see so many people that put power saving mode but all it does is save the switch battery and it doesn't it says reduce settings to preserve power it's preserve power not preserve FPS it'll just save your switch's battery so it's not really useful well, not if you're trying to reduce your input lag. Then what you want to do in building is put confirm edit on release. Hot scale, put it the smallest then you can, and uh, as long as you can see it as well. Don't just like put it down on 25% and you can't see anything. Put that the smallest that you can until you can actually like see the numbers of like ammo and mats you have. And also in your HUD you want to hide every single thing that is not useful. Like unless you're doing just quests and pubs, you can get quest progress off. And all that extra stuff, you can just take it off because it'll just add on your HUD and increase your input delay because it's extra stuff that your switch has to process. What you also want to do when you build, I've seen that some people have this setting off for some random reasons, like it turned off on accident or some people just don't even see it. It's have a build immediately on. If you're using Builder Pro, of course. If you're still using Combat Pro, um, yeah, I'm not really gonna judge you or anything, but just switch. <laughs> Alright, in all seriousness, after that, what you wanna do is have subtitles off. There, perfect. They'll just add some extra processing in the background that isn't useful at all. What you also want to do is get rid of dialogues, that's literally like henchmen talking. Visual high sound effects, unless you really like it, which I, I do, but like I'm trying to work on this so I can focus on my game and not just use like my eyes to look at my enemies and in the same time looking around, like using my ears to listen. Also I'm pretty sure that now everyone knows about this, it's adding a second edit vine. So basically, if you have a like a place that you have a bind that you don't want to use, like for example, mine there is um, the down on the D-pad, 
you want to add switch mode slash edit and then in your settings you want to put edit hold time to the max I don't know why I'll just give you a special boost alright so now we're gonna go into skins and creative itself alright so now for skins what you want to do is basically not use anything animated like for example you don't want to use like blaze and then add these the molten wings add something that's really animated like the side blade and then just add something completely crazy like this uh, that also gives you um, eye problems not gonna be offensive to anyone and just take a random thing that really hurts your eyes like I don't know this don't do this just I'm not telling you to use a default just use one that doesn't have any animations this isn't animated this is normal this is this fire on it this is there's like this blue aura around it this is not well it has its wings that moves a tiny bit but not really this one has like this thing around its cape so what I just do is use my channel skin, which I like a lot, which is Ruby. Not put any back wings. And use the star one that's animated a tiny bit. So basically you don't have to just use something that's not animated at all and just use default. Just use something that's not insanely animated and that will reduce your FPS. So the time that you can see and your time to react and do your inputs. So what you want to do before going in your island is add this map that I found. That's not only better than the map for better ping, but it also makes you have better FPS. So there's the code on screen right now, I'll put it in a pinned comment and in the description of course. Uh, basically, you can only put one of these so you don't have to put like four so it's even better. You just put one and it's very good. Then when you go on your actual island, you want to put the island that has the least stuff on it. I just put a grid island and I just free build on there. Basically there's nothing here. You can change the island settings as much as you want. You can put fog, you can put whatever you want. That's the island. It won't make you lag. Unless you put some crazy stuff of course. This isn't too crazy. This is just dark time. So basically, if there's no builds or anything, it'll be a lot better, so if you just want to make a 1v1 map, you can like put a, I don't know, a pump spawn, there you put an AR spawn, and then after you can just start your game, and when you start your game, you can just put a ramp here and another one there, so it's not pre-built, so it's the actual, like when you're in the game, that processes it, so it won't give you more input lag. So as I said, there's nothing here, I just place a ramp Then there's like different types of build you find cool They're all programmed the same by the way, there's no like Bigger animation compared to the others Actually I do think that brick Should be Yeah, actually it's just a build, it won't make you like Lose 50,000 FPS So you wanna be is like be detracted don't stress and spam your button. I just got on by the way and I'm trying zero dead zones for a future video. Not that I've I've actually already covered zero dead zones, you should go watch that video. I'll put it in the pinned comment in the description. But uh, I'm using a new item for my controller that I'll talk about very soon. And very soon is Thursday. So you just wanna be like detracted, don't spam your buttons. And if you're not, you just won't tilt. If you're just calm, you do what you want to do. You don't like... Wait, I'm gonna try and mash buttons. No, it just makes me do like really stiff, angry movement that's not consistent. And relaxed. And instead you can just do this and stay calm because it's not like on switch you're not gonna do some crazy insane quintuple retakes 
to every given moment. Of course I know I'm making a video and I don't have that much of ping. Well I'm not gonna show my ping because I don't want more input delay. So basically this is what you wanna do. I hope that you like today's video. Uh, tomorrow's video will be some pub stomping. I hope that you'll enjoy that. There'll probably be some solo squads. But until then, I'm out. I'll hurt every single comment and I don't know, I'll just pin a funny comment. See you tomorrow. And on Instagram as well, because I ask a lot of questions down there. But until then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.